Hi, McKinley. How are you? Doing well, Sydney. How are you? Doing well. Good. Um, love the series, and I've been talking kind of travel okay. related stuff with the rest of the cast. But what I love the most was um, the authenticity um, that it had being shot in LA and you know taking place in LA. Right. Um, the numerous projects that we love seeing you on our TV screen. What's your favorite part about shooting in LA or California? Uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, thank you. I think one of the, one of the cool things about uh, California is just the, I call it. It's basically production value. You can't really explain what it looks like. You just kind of have to see it. The palm trees, the people. You know, people don't think you got to wear hoodies at night in California. It's like no, you do, or you'll freeze. You know what I mean? But more importantly, like the 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 areas that Ramla highlights in the, in the world are, are are important to people of color here in, in, in Los Angeles and, and people in general. I think we were uh, you know some of our base camps were like down near off Obama and like Crenshaw. So like I, I got no problem going to Earl's or hopping over the hill to go to Soul Food Kitchen or you know Caribbean Treehouse used to be open on La Tijera. So for me. It's like a lot about a lot of it is food landmarks. So being able to see places like, oh, I've been there. It doesn't have to always be in Hollywood. It doesn't have to always be about entertainment. There's a whole culture of people um, that that's worth exploring, and and it's the thing that connects us because the 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 way people live in Compton is just slightly different than the way people live other places. It's just you know there's just other things going on, but we still have the same challenges. Definitely. And I loved how the series kind of made those areas, you know, more relatable. As you mentioned, it's not the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's Lamarck Park and seeing all these different, you know, communities on screen was really, really a treat. Um, well, it's I don't to bring that up because there's areas of like Lamarck Park that are dealing with gentrification. And it's like some, so. you know, there's farmers markets and stuff down there where it's like in a moment's notice, those market that property could be purchased. And now these vendors have nowhere to go. So it's also an, an ode to the places that are worth holding on to and retaining ownership of because the right. How hard is it to own something the second time around if you weren't given an opportunity, even an opportunity to have a conversation about the first? Absolutely. So it's about, recognizing patterns so you can step outside of them and you know sometimes realizing like oh that's not there anymore or the value in having something that's there versus a starbucks not, not a knock on starbucks but i'm using that as a corporate yeah. example versus like supporting people and businesses in the community like mom and pop shops yeah i'm, I'm from bed brooklyn so we have been experiencing that for a long time now yeah but I love how how the series kind of brings that to light. Um, out of all the projects you've done in the past, which we love seeing you, um, what's been your your favorite place to shoot? Whether it's domestically, internationally, what's been your favorite city or state to shoot? My thing is, I'm I'm real big on being uh, as much as I try to be a student of life, I also try to be like a newcomer. Uh, so I like to be surprised and and. Um, and like overwhelmed with a place when I go. So if I've never been there before, I, I sincerely go there with a sense of excitement, whether it's New Orleans or where, you know, wherever, Hawaii, Wilmington, wherever it is, like it, I'm grateful to be working and to be able to see parts of this planet that, um, you know, you don't not necessarily given the opportunity or have the opportunity to see in, in a lifetime. So. Yeah, and definitely with your craft. And to close, if you had to pick one location anywhere mm -hmm. on this planet to have a set where you're there every day, you're immersed in the culture. I know it's so many places you could pick, but where would that be and I why? I would go to Africa. I would just okay, go to Africa. What part? Uh, well, I've got like I have, inter I have an interest in other things. Like I'm involved in tech startups and on awesome. starting businesses. Like I'm c connected with some people in Nairobi. I'm testing some ideas. So anywhere on Af Africa would be great because in order for there to be actual scalable productions, there needs to be the creation of, uh, of, of an annuity of resources. So to be able to be in a position for that to be possible, that would have meant there's a curriculum or something in place that others can follow to, to pick it up and run with when that production is over. So if that was to happen anywhere on the continent, that would mean that several other steps had had happened for me to even be there. So that would be dope wherever it is. Let's make that happen. Thank oh, you man. so much, McKinley. We'll make that happen. Travel Noir, we'll make that happen. Let's get it. I appreciate it.